Here are all the parts for my tricopter build. This is what I'll be doing for the next three or four evenings most likely. First is the Titan tricopter airframe from Fortis Airframes. This is just a bunch of uh, laser cut Delrin with the blue masking tape or transfer tape still on it. These are the three carbon fiber booms that I'll be using that also come from Fortis Airframes. Here's the KK2.1 board. That's the slight hardware revision over the classic KK2. Here's the servo that I'm just going to be using for the yaw mechanism. Here's all the batteries I've got so far. These are 3000 milliamp 4S batteries. I previously used 2200 milliamp 4S batteries and I'm hoping that these will give me some more, uh, some more flight time without adversely affecting flight characteristics due to the additional weight. Here are three 30 amp speed controllers from RC Manchild. I haven't used these before but I'm betting they'll be really good. These are three RC Manchild motors. I've used these before and they're really nice. They're 1000 kV. Here's my Free Sky receiver. I also have an X8R that came with my Tyrannus radio and I might be using that instead. This is the battery voltage sensor that will hook into the receiver and send back telemetry data to the radio to tell me what voltage I'm at. These are the Fat Shark Attitude V2 goggles from ReadyMade RC. I'm not really sure what's new about the V2 other than it comes with this little camera you can see there. Probably won't be using the camera since I'll use my GoPro. That's also the 250 milliwatt transmitter there. Here are the diopters. These are just little corrective lenses that I had to buy because I wear glasses. Here's my 5.8 gigahertz circular polarized antenna set that I bought from ReadyMade RC. And finally, the FreeSky Tyrannus radio. This thing is awesome. I've only used it uh, flying, in the flying in the simulator so far, but I think it's going to be great.